Come on, Rex. Go back inside. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's pretty miserable. Remember the last time you did my mother. What oh, friend I love you. When was the last time <laughs> Oh, buddy, that's way too heavy. I need a tree dolly. Oh man, I'm gonna just take this project over there. As long as I got good reception, we could do this. You could be with this, so you could be with this. So you could be with this, so you could be with this. And now he wants to come out. Come on out, come on out. Come on out, come on, come on. All sorts of seeds I forgot to plant. I need a chair. I think there's one. I had a chair, it is. Ooh, look, it's really wet. Carambola fruits are going crazy. Everything's pretty happy here. This guy have fruit on it. Let's take a look. Let's set this down. A lot of flowers. Fuang tongue. They make it through the storms really easily. There you go. It did have a fruit on it. I, I like the way it tastes. Got a yellow jabbity cabo over here in the bushes. Mircearia glazioviana. It's flowering, or it was. I'm hidden in here. Got a lot of flowers on it. I think it fruited last year. It did, yeah. Just one or two fruits. Eugenia sulcata that we planted. A lot of branches on the trees from the storm still. A lot of leaf litter on the ground. I'm sure that'll give us some nitrogen. Man, these post hole diggers have been standing there for a while. Ever since I did that video on... on oh, you know, this brace I made for the tree seemed to help a lot. These braces here. Yeah, believe that. This thing stood up nice. I don't see any fruit on it yet. It's never fruited yet, but it has flowered. And um, got to be a little bit quiet. Glomerata. This glomerata has got flowers all over it. Yeah. They fruited last year. The chickens like to steal it. All right. Oh, look, this is a cocktail tree. It needs to be staked up, but it's got trunk of flora and the red. And the only part that's ever flowered or fruited is the red. See the red Javadi Kaba? It's fruited for years. And the trunk, the trunk of flora, ah, the trunk of flora side refuses to do anything but grow tall. And I always have to cut it back. I'm going to have to prune it real heavy. If anyone's interested in buying some really big trunk of flora scions, I'll have some for sale. I'll probably need to get like $7 a piece, but I'll, I'll give you cuttings real big.
they should be from mature wood. This is all from mature wood. But they take forever to fruit anyway. Mosquitoes aren't that bad. This is some kind of Eugenia. I don't know what kind. I, I lost the label. I almost sold it by accident. We'll find out. Maybe, maybe just a Suriname cherry, but it doesn't look right. We'll go wait for it to put out new leaves. Here's that funny looking Patanga tuba here. Needs to be pulled out right to there. And it's got a really nice shape to it. Hasn't fruited yet, but it has flowered. Kind of typical. Well, I'd like to see if the fruit's got a funny, a funny shape. It got them funny shapes. Well, not unless circular's funny. Remember that? You don't know that reference. Hey, old timer. You got them balloons that blow up into funny shapes? Well, not unless circular's funny. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good movie there. Overcast. Looks like we're not going skating today. This mower still kind of, I think it would run, but I got to scrap it. Sure, it's worth something to somebody. It, it could fix it up, I bet. But I got to buy a new one eventually. So we're going to sit down and do this the old-fashioned way. We'll take our seeds in the pot. Set up our chair to an appropriate level. Make sure it's stable. Find some pots that are decent sized. We're gonna be using these twos and ones. These are gonna be the pots today. That size and this size. Now, let's explain what's going on. Let's give you some reasoning behind what's happening here. Now, typically, when you're growing fruit trees, it's nice to have them in uh, cell packs, like these over here. That's so each little seed has its own little place and you can just pull it out and ship it and sell it without disturbing it. And it makes it easy to sell and all that. But there's some disadvantages to growing in these cell packs. You know, they sometimes are flimsy and uh, they don't get evenly watered. They dry out quick. I'm just coming up with some reasons here that the cell packs can suck. They're really good in some cases, but if you're lazy and you don't want to take the time to individually plant all those seeds and you have a bunch of seeds that you need to plant, it's just fine to take a plant pot like this and do a community pot. This is a one gallon. Now, the more rare the seeds are, the smaller the pot I'll put them in because that'll be more separating than I need to do. I'm about to go over there and just start beating the shit out of roosters. They're pissing me off with the way with their mouth. The run it, run their fucking beaks. Oh, I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. It's turning, guys. The tides are turning. Hold on, let me see if I can make a, a thing for this. I'm making a. All right, hold on. Oh, these one gallons make a really nice camera holder. I gotta have this all set up, bubble. Oh, I just figured out the prime camera holder. I could put you all up a little higher. Let me get one more thing. Oh, yeah. Go sit there. Run your beak all day. Wow. I just invented the dopest tripod system ever all you need is a couple of pots the phone fits perfectly into a a one gallon all right now sorry you can't see my face so well but you can see the action eh i could even put you down a little more like that <laughs> okay 
So now we put some soil in the pot, not too high. You want it to sit down a little bit, at least that much. You could go lower too. If you don't have as much soil, you could only fill it up this much and, and put the seeds down way low. There's advantages to doing that, but today we're gonna just put it about like that. We're gonna take some seeds. These are some grimmels. I've left these in the bag for so long. They're so disgusting. Let's take a look. Look at all that. You can't just plant it like that. You may be able to plant it like that, but I wouldn't. You're gonna have to clean them off, get the fruit out of the seed, the seed out of the fruit. And it's still wet, it's still good. So pop them out and plant them in there. Let's do that. If you're smart, you'll count them too, and then try to separate them, because they stick together. And one seed, you might be able to split into four. It all depends on how you're propagating and what you're trying to do. These are really disgusting seeds. Uh, you know, the way they smell or look or whatever. They don't smell like anything. Not much in this one. It's got like a runt seed. I'll try to plant that. I guess you can't really see the action too well. I'm just picking these apart and trying to stick the seeds in there. Oh yeah. And you go in a circle, like a spiral pattern around the edge and work your way into the middle. And think of it like uh, putting toppings on a pizza. You want everything to be evenly spaced. You don't want all the sausages and pepperonis on one side. There's a fucking horse fly that showed up. We got all sorts of sucking insects out here and I'm dressed like a scantily clad 17 year old at spring break. This ain't working out. I should have worn jeans. This is a lot of seeds for one pot, but I'm doing it that way. I really could have used a bigger pot for this. These are gonna be crowded, but this is just how it's going down. I'm, I'm being real, real lazy today, but let me keep trying to talk to you about this and why we're doing what. We're gonna do another one. These are some grimmels. We got a China marker, I think it's called, that we're gonna label these with. Evenly spacing out the seeds, giving them all their little pizza topping location. Squeezing them out of these leathery skins. These are Grimwell Java Cavas. It's a rare Java. And I like them, one of my favorites. And I'm really hoping for hybrids. I'm looking for a Dern hybrid. If you get a good hybrid, you can dig it out. And that's what we'll do. And we'll separate it. But I think these are all popped they're kind of evenly spaced. They could be spaced a little better. I'm going through and readjusting these. You know what? All right, I'm not going to be that lazy. We're going to do two separate pots because there's so many. I want these to not be so crowded. I, I'm taking some out, and then we're doing that, and then there's some in there like that. All right, there's one. We're going to have to label these. Got another pot. Fill it with some soil. Make sure there's nothing in that bag. All right. And then we're gonna evenly place them around in a spiral. I don't know if I can get the camera any higher. I think I can. Hold on. If I could raise that, if I could raise the camera up, you'd be able to see what's really going down. Like this. I've got the tripod system today, boy. Oh no, we dropped it. Okay. Everything was so perfect. That'll work. Ah, all right. Now. See how I do that? Don't have to be perfect, they'll figure it out. And then now we're gonna take this product called a China marker. When I started it off, I um, I peeled it wrong and it's exposed more than it should be. I, I didn't know how to work with the unraveling of the tip, if you will. So we're gonna write Grimmel, Grimmel, Grimmel. And then we'll just write Grim on the others. Grim, 
all rim. Ran it several times in case it wears off. And you ran it on several parts of the pot. So th those are the grimmels. Planted them up in the pots just like that. They'll sprout up and I'll separate them out later on. I'll try to find a pot that needs to be separated and show you how to do that too. Oh, is that a seed? Yeah, I found another seed on my lap. Okay, and maybe another no. All right, next, let's see what we got. These are some uh, finger, finger sock seeds that someone sent that gave me. Uh, Seth from Year One Organics gave me some finger, finger sock Miogin Cylindrocarpa seeds. I think he got them from Fruit and Spice Park. If you want to be lazy with these, I'll show you just what we do. Because these are really strong trees and easy to separate once they get sprouted. They don't like to be waterlogged. That's for damn sure. So what we're going to do is this. If they didn't mind being saturated, I mean, you could put them in a regular pot, but this right here will be clutch, this root pruning pot. They're going to really enjoy that. So we'll take that and we'll fill it, not all the way, not, not even halfway maybe, less than halfway. Let me adjust this camera, or actually I need to adjust the pot. Like that? Yeah. I guess this pot's a little dangerous because they might wash out right through one of these holes on the side, but oh well. It's the price we, the, the risk we take in this business. I'm gonna plant close, far away from that edge to try not to have any seeds come out of the edge. And I'm just peppering these suckers in. And these can take almost a year. I've seen them take eight months easy to come up and they're really slow for the first little bit. But once they get going, they'll grow about a foot, maybe two feet in a year if you got them growing really well. And it's a fun fruit. It looks like a little red pawpaw, like a circus peanut kind of looking thing. They taste like a sugar apple, but kind of watered down and mealy. But it's fun to eat, and it's a pretty tree, a really pretty tree. The flower smells really good. Like the sweet banana shrub, it's related. It's an anona. It's a really good smelling flower, easy to grow, doesn't like a flood. It'll fruit well in deep shade or full sun. It's versatile in that regard. It's not sensitive to soil pH. And uh, it's just a fun fruit, you know? It can take a freeze, but not real bad. My, we went down to 25 degrees and, and got wet and it killed my tree. I had a, a big old one that was fruiting for a long time. Big old one. But yeah, these, these can get hard to find every once in a while. Slow grower. But when they seed up, boy, they seed up. You get a lot of seed off of these, man. And then we're just going to do this. Put a little layer on top like that. And I, I don't need to label that. I know what that is, no question. I don't need to label nothing. I ain't got nothing that looks like that. That's an easy one to ID. But we got to put it somewhere where it ain't going to get molested. Now, we've got these. And we got these on top there. We got your Grimmels. We got your Miogin Cylindrocarpas. Your Hoo Hoos and your Wah Wahs. All right. I don't know what these are. These are just random seeds with some Patanga tubas. Probably some red Jabati Cabas. We'll just, we'll get a bigger pot. A uh, three gallon. <laughs> Holler at your crew. the standard procedure for when you're in a rush fill them up about halfway or more you could less or more and then you can just dump them in like that and sometimes if you're feeling good oh these are some relenia seeds i see one two now i'm starting to organize them three i gotta pull these out four five six seven eight Oh shit, you got dumped. You got dropped like a bad habit, bro. All right. 
think that's it for the Rolinia seeds. I just want to have those separate. They're pretty easy to pick out. That's from my special Rolinia. Uh, let's go ahead and organize these. You put them, if you want, by a species. You can just look at it. Give everyone their space. Factor was dropping the phone. I, I shouldn't have dropped the phone. It really hurt hurt my stream quality, didn't it? I thought I had it all figured out with that, uh, what do you call it? That whole system I had was working so well and then I, I dropped it all. Yeah, these are the Rolinia seeds I found from my special tree. I forgot I had these. We're gonna put this over here. The Rolinia is very fragile to separate, actually. These ones would be better off in their individual pots. I don't want to mess with these. I'm, I'm not going to plant these in a community pot. It just doesn't make sense. So we're going to take these things. Will be, these things will be perfect. We just got to put them somewhere where nothing gets to them. Oh, goodness me. Good golly, Miss Molly. All right. So these are going to want to fill them up pretty much to the brim. Push the soil in a little bit there. Hard to do this one-handed, but... And then just boop in the middle. A little more soil on top. That was a little too much soil on top, actually. I planted that one deep. That was not a good job. Let's do this again. Dirt in. Seed middle. Little on top. Little on top. Very little on top. See, that one was planted a lot more shallow in the pot. See, this is a very uneven planting because I've got working with underhanded here. I ain't got my filmer today. My regular scheduled filmer didn't show up. All right, just needs to be packed in a little more soil in there. And then pop in the middle, and then just a double dabble. Let's keep this rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Did I drop a seed in there? No. I don't got to label these either, because I know just what the hell they are. I'm not going to label it if I know exactly what it is and there's nothing else that I grow that looks like it. I'm just not going to label it. I'm just not going to do it. That's a waste of good ink. Of good China marker. Going to rain again. I might get lazy and um, plant a couple in one pot. Like this. One, two. Each on their own side. So. And then we'll do the last three. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that double planting because now I got one empty tray. The OCD enemy is about to dig that one up for real. One, come to the middle, to the middle. Okay, one. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to dig that one up, bro. Two. Okay, yep. This is the one with two. Let's see if we can find the other. Got it. I'm sure there's gonna be some weeds in this stock. Oh, now, 
you know what's going to happen is there's going to come an animal that digs these up and messes with them so we got to find a way to protect them the easiest way for now if i'm being lazy is probably this hold on one second put them over here like this and you take another pot and put it over it like that this is just a temporary method it'll protect from squirrels shit like that did i plant anything in this pot i don't remember i was going to and i didn't okay and now this i think we can go like this i know it's gonna have to be like that and then we need one more pot for that See, that will temporarily protect it from uh, getting kicked around by chickens and shit. All right, we're going to pick up all these bags, put them there temporarily, and keep the planting going. We'll say it's like a, dre a dreary day today. Okay, I do have some scarlet seeds and Rosa de Pescos, okay. These are scarlets. Now look at, I really let these get bad, moldy. Let's take a look at these. Moldy. But they are starting to sprout. Get a better shot of that. Left in the bag, no medium, just kind of moldy. Okay. Make this easy and just put them in this pot. No, we won't put them in that pot. Put them in a regular one. One guy. Oh, too many at once. Uh, you gotta look at the listing times. Don't end your listings at the wrong time. Depends on who you're trying to market to. But I see people really kind of mimicked my listing times but mine aren't the perfect ones for everyone. But you want to kind of look at sales history is what I did and see what times things got the best prices. And you'll typically find that listing shit on like a, you know, there's certain days if you list it with your auction ending, you schedule your, your auctions to end at a certain time and calculate or else you'll fuck yourself. If your auction just ends at Tuesday, you know what I mean? At, 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 at 1 p.m. on a Tuesday or something. I don't know what the worst time is, but there's a worst time. It's usually actually like 9 to 10 a.m. on Monday. If your auction ends at 9 to 10 a.m. on a Monday, it's like you're, you're done for. You're not going to get what you should for your item. And I, I just... I'll go through... For me to find the best times to list, I literally did this. This was my method. I went into the history, the sales history for just bullion, gold bars, and, and silver bars. And I, I went through the sales history for 10 ounce bars of silver. And I found the times that they sold for the least amount. And I made sure that those sales were from reputable sellers with 100% or, you know, close to 100% feedback. They weren't just bogus listings. These were actual sales that went down for very low prices of metal, silver, for investment purposes, I guess. And those times correlated with the worst times to have your listings end. And it's just about markets and when people have expendable money. But that's the way I figured it. And then, you know, keep your listings honest and simple. Don't go trying to say something that's not true. Or if you don't know it, don't say it. And just, 
you know, your listing is like a contract, so keep it pretty, pretty simple. You don't want to go too crazy. Oh, no, I just messed up, I believe. Yep, that's not good. No, I didn't mess up. I didn't mess up. Okay, let me hurry up and get this finished about to rain. These are some Rosa de Pescos seeds that I just got off of, an, of a tree that makes a nice big fruit. I've got several seedlings. This one's a winner. I like it a lot. It was really impressive. So I'm going to plant these RDPs out. I might put them in a special pot, even though they don't deserve it. I just have one here by chance, and we'll use it. You know what? You really shouldn't do this because you need to save these special pots for Garcinias and Anonas or whatever that have a tap root. I'm not doing it. I'm putting them in a regular pot. And we're going to just do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lucky seven. Okay, and let's write that on the pot. If we can find our China marker. Let's see what I did with that thing. Is it behind my ear or some shit? Oh, it's on my lap. Where did it go? RDP. Bald Eagle. I hear it. I hear a Baltic Eagle. We got these left to plant. These are some scarlets. Some trash. Paper trash. But these are scarlets. With an old blosser. I really wanted to plant these scarlets. It's about to rain. Uh, let me put them in a big pot. Ah, my knee just cracked. It felt really good, guys. This is like about halfway full. All right, we're gonna dump everything in there. I always want to get the skins out of there and don't leave them because they hasten the germination process. If you leave all that on there, something got to eat that. It's going to be bugs, fun, the faster they're because they won't smell all that delicious sweet. It's probably good enough. I'm feeling pretty lazy today. That's about it. And then we'll we'll label it scarlet. I'm so glad I planted those seeds. I've had I've had them sitting. See, I'm putting that there to protect it. Oh, oh! I've had them sitting on my counter for so long they were about to go bad. But you can literally just eat the fruit and set the seeds like in a bag on. Oh shit! There's more to plant. I don't know what they are. We'll go plant them all at once. These are all getting planted. One more second. Mm.
like, oh, I found a seed. You got to remember, each one of these seeds is like a scratch-off ticket. I know it looks like a corn pop, but that could be variegated, and it could be worth a lot of money, and it's one out of whatever. But I'm telling you, before you know it, you're going to get that one freaky little seed, but you got to plant a shitload of seeds and scratch off a bunch of tickets. And that's the way I've always looked at it, is each one's a chance. And you don't want to waste chances. Think of all the wasted chances there were. But not today. Not today. Not this chance. I'm taking it back. This is our dream. This is my dream. You hear me? This is our time. Down here. In the mud. Up there, that's their time. All right. Boop, 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 boop. I'm looking for a trash can. Put some trash in. That'll do. Here I am in this dang bed. Who's gonna feed the hogs? Four thousand. It is standing out there. My wife can't feed him. And blah blah or something. Da, da. Meow meow meow. Wow wow gobbler. Kissing my feet. She's a gobbler. You kissing my feet? Yeah, come here. That's I love you. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's been a minute. We used to sit together a lot. Yeah. Her ear is getting better. I had to get surgery on it several times. That's your good side. That's your bad side. That's her bad eye. I saw someone that tried to fruit him in a house, but it was um, it was a little, a little too uh, not human enough. <laughs> she makes good noises. You were the goo goo. Uh oh, she likes to go for moles. I got one on my neck that she'll just try to rip off. She's flicking a lot. I hope she's all right. Her ear might be missing. Mm. She's flicking her head a lot. She seems pretty hungry. I better go get some food for her. I got, I got a papaya. Now, ever since that one time, my chicken had the sour. Sour crop, compacted crop, and I fixed it with papaya. Oh shit, my china marker's in there. I said, um. I feed them the papaya now because it's gotta be helpful. They love it. Anything that's that medicinal that's gonna cure a chicken from almost dying and digest whatever's in its, in its crop like that is worth having all the time. I wish my trees would fruit, but they don't fruit. I've had one or two off of this. This is a hermaphrodite or whatever. That one's a really good tree over there. I got a new one over there that's come up from seed. I don't even know where, but I need more papayas. I, I really want to grow more, so I'm going to get around to it. But I just want to grow them for the sake of the chickens, to be honest. I really don't like the fruit at all. But it is easy to grow, and it's a beautiful tree. So, feels like there's 
something on the bottom of my foot. Uh, yeah, look at they tore this one up. Papaya down there. They inhale those things. You gonna go inside? Go inside. Okay. We got this here. Doing a live stream, believe it or not. Did I wake you up? Let me turn the AC down a little bit. get these from the store the last one was seedless let's see if, let's see if this one's got seeds or not seedless Trying to get this around there. There we go. Flipped it with my nose. Stay. Oh, no. These guys have been eating their papaya. That one's looking pretty nasty on the ground. I should probably pull that out. And then we're gonna bring some to these homies over here. They don't seem too fond of it, but they do eat it. The other ones are much more papaya-minded individuals. She's flicking her head more than anything. Her, her ear might be bothering her a little bit. Fred. He got his foot caught in the net the other day and almost had a, a, a bad issue. That's the one foot that got shot. 22 round right through his toe. He was getting attacked by a raccoon. And I tried to shoot the raccoon through the window, my bedroom window, and it hit him. But I did get, I did get the raccoon. I believe I got it. Yeah, I did. Oh, look at that. Kimber's hybrid. It's got flowers and fruit coming. Grafted. Probably take off these down here. A couple little branches there. This tree's a, a winner. It's a really nice tree, but it's going to take people years to figure out how nice it is. Some suckers on this anomaly right underneath the graft. Got to keep those in check. It's flowering. It's fruited pretty well, actually. 
This one's in a really good spot. It's really happy. You could even prune this shit like this. These like that there. <laughs> nice tree. Got another one over here. It's got a little bit of activity. This one's in uh, not as good of a location. Oh, look, suckers. The base here. These are above graft, that's below. But I just take anything off. Bald eagle. You hear him screaming. That's how you can tell you're in America. She don't eat it till I walk away. Now look at her go that I'm walking away. She can't see me eat. Or I can't see, she, she can't be seen eating. Don't look at me. She's knocking that thing back, boy. It's got curing property. She's just gaining strength, my friend. Look at that. She's busting that papaya up, boy. Look at him busting that shit, man. Look, they bust together. Eating. This one, not so much. I hope she's all right. Look, she's got spurs like a, like a dang boy. You all right? Her face looks crooked. I guess that's just how she looks. Yeah, she's fine. She doesn't like papaya. Her feathers look really nice. She's disgusted by me is really what the problem is. She just doesn't want to be seen eating either. Oh, I got that turtle from uh, the Home Depot. Tortoise. When I first got it, the chickens were scared of it. It's an interesting tree here. It hasn't done much, but it almost died and it keeps coming back. I think it's a hybrid of the trunk of flora hybrid or a grimo hybrid, I don't know. Interesting tree. It's the PDM I put in the ground. Wow, it looks like it looks way smaller than the ones I kept in the pot. But it is alive. It almost died. I don't know if you look back at old videos. I don't even from a year ago, maybe or earlier this year. It really looked like it was going to die. A nice anomaly flowering. Don't fight between these cages. That's how your foot got caught last time. Quit it. Quit it. Ah, I probably lost connectivity again with that drop. Oh well. Hey, it'll be all right. It's not too wet. I should probably put it on though. I gotta clean up all this trash here. I gotta throw that away. That that's done. It's a done deal. The next time you see this video, we'll have this cleaned up. It's been sitting there for a year, not a year. It it was in a it was in a bin, and in the bin I took the bin away, and the, the contents came out. It got flooded, with the hurricane. It's flooded over here. Look how wet it is. These stakes I made for the trees worked out really well. The wasp nest didn't fare too well for the storm. The house got wrecked. Oh, look at this red jabuticaba flowering up a storm. Ground's mucky over here. Oh. Here's a little Jabuti Kaba I planted seedling ESALQ. Doing pretty well. Grafted Truncaflora. Grafted ESALQ. This is a seedling red that makes interesting little fruit. It's 
It's got an interesting growth habit. Fruit's like crazy, actually, but they've always been small. And they always get stolen. I guess I will pull these suckers off at the base. It's a cool tree. I like anyone that flowers to the dirt like that, and it's it's made it through the tough times. Look at these braces. They're like loose now from that other storm. It, it blew the tree back the other way. <clears throat> Uh-oh, look at this. This is a uh, sapucaya. This one's always flowered like crazy, but the fruits have been small and almost not even worth eating. Definitely not grafting from it, but it's a beast. Flowers like crazy. It has been flowering before all the others. I don't think any of the others are flowering, but the fruit is just so small. Maybe because I need to dig it up and replant it. That sucker's going bonkers, dude. It's probably eight years old. <clears throat> This tree fruited out of nowhere, this RDP, and it was damn good. Made big ass fruit compared to the other one. So I'm excited about this tree's a beast as well. That RDP right there really won me over in spite of me. And don't be yelling, never ever had over me. I'm gonna put that on my uh, playlist at the skate park. I couldn't help it. It's so your fault. Wonder what happened to its wing. Bird. Lizard. It's a white peacock. See how much closer I can get. It's chilling. See, it's windy. I had to hold the branch. It flew away when I pulled away. It flew away. Peckerneck. He's really come into his his realm of domination. He's waited a long time to be king around here, but I think he's finally at that point where he runs he runs some kind of shit they used to call him peckerneck now they call him pepperneck because he's hot like a pepper boy and he's got that neck muscle pepperneck formerly known as peckerneck i think we were calling him peckerneck on one of the streams and someone was like our kids just love pepperneck and I was like, oh, dang, Peppernick. I think that's a little better than Peckerneck. This tree's flowering. The ones in the greenhouse are flowering really well. I gotta get...
That's a good one. That's going to be perfect. That's how I like them with the, just a touch of green. A lot of water. Let's taste that. Uh-huh. Mmm. That skin tastes good. Like a cigar box. Mmm. Damn good. I don't want to focus. Make a really good tea out of the skin. That's what I've been told. I hear a cat squeaking. I thought I heard a squeak meow. <laughs> Just saw a big something over here. Oh, a bird. There's like a blue jay in here stealing my fruit. I've come to eat the fruit, bird. There it is. Cat bird. You devil. That's who eats my fruit. No flowers yet. Made it through the storms really well. The Parkia by Globosa. Wow, this tree is making a comeback. It was dead for years. It died to the ground and it just wouldn't live. I've had it planted for like six years maybe. And uh, wow, I can't believe this comeback. Eugenia Candeliana from Seedling. It used to fruit. It used to be a big, beautiful tree. And it died back to the ground. There you can see the old trunk. Let's see if I can clean that up and show you. The old trunk, yep. I rotted away. I thought you were Rex. <laughs> I thought that chicken was Rex. You should be in your cage. What are you doing? What are you eating? Come be with me. Hey, come here. Look, 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 look. Come here, me, 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 me. Hey. She jumps up. She used to. She'll jump right up. Come on, buddy. If I had a treat, she would. She's hungry. How'd you get out of the cage? Can I hold you, chicken buddy? I want you to be safe. Ah, oh, you're safe. Oh look, these are the um, Artocarpus, the Kwai Muk. These died to the ground and came back. Wow, those are not, they can't believe those came back. I've got some from Grimmel's Grove that were really good. This is like a wax jambu or syzygium that died and came back. I'm surprised it's come back. I like the fruit. It's refreshing, watery. Now, I don't know if we're going to lose service here, but we're going to walk over and check on the black sapote fruit and see if it's ready. Look at how beautiful these Jabba, Jahavacavas are that I planted. That's a, These are all like 
uh, trunk of floors and hybrids of the trunk of floors. You can see they look kind of similar. There's a trunk of floor tree looking really nice. I think that storm straightened it out. This is trunk of flora sabra hybrid, really nice tree. This is another possible trunk of flora sabra hybrid or trunk of flora red hybrid. And no, I think this one would be a sabra hybrid. This one does very well. This is an odd little tree. I, I don't know the variety. But then this is a, another trunk of flora hybrid. And I just put them all over here. This is the, uh, the same as the other one over there, but this one looks a lot better in more shade. Trunk of flora sabra. This is Paulista that almost died. Had it in a pot and let it get dried out. It was like a 10 foot tall tree. And it's slowly coming back, but you can see where it died, the top. And this is what I come to see if any of these black sapotes are there yet. Just waiting for them to have some kind of change or sign of change. I don't feel any kind of hardness difference. Usually there's like a little bit of give or something, but these are hard as a rock. And no real color change. When you, when you flick it, sometimes you can hear a noise, but I just don't think they're quite ready yet. It's not gonna be ready probably till it gets cold. That's what I'm just gonna do is wait. If, if they're not ready by the time it starts to get freezing, I'll just take them off because there's nothing worse than a freeze for some tropical fruit or subtropical fruit sometimes. Trying to fruit them and it freezes as they're on the tree, it's going to make it taste not so good. Right here on the ground. It's not ready. This took a long time to flower, maybe 12 years from seed, be, be 10, 12 years, yeah. Because it died back and I didn't take good care of it. And then it did flower and they were only male flowers. There was no female flowers, only male. I think this one's probably ripe actually. You know, I, I'm pretty sure I could pick this one right here. I'm pretty sure that yellow color and then this action at the top. Like I think Keegan was telling me this part kind of separates at the top. The ants are testing it. I'll let it stay on a little longer. I believe I could pick that though. Based on my experience, I think that would ripen up. But I always, I like to let a fruit sit on the tree as long as possible. It really, in, in most cases, develops the best flavor. Some of these, you know, the ones that you have to let ripen. Like a Rolinia, I like to harvest that a little early, a little green. But if you, it's a fruit that you can eat green. If it's a fruit that you have to let get ripe, this is a dangerous tree to be standing under for too long. I'm going to keep it moving. But I'm just looking for any fruits out here. This is flowering again. The uh, Otto Anderson grafted. I've got a couple that are starting to flower and fruit. Really good fruit. I would wish these would... um. These would fruit, these uh, Garcinia xanthochymus. Ooh, dangerous tree to be under here, but yeah, after a storm, these widow makers. I'm gonna keep it moving. I don't, I don't even like to be under these trees, dude. We got a mow out here. You know, I'm surprised this tree hasn't died there that Eugenia Involucrata, the uh, chair of the Rio Grande grafted. That thing's been through hell. It's been through hell. I gotta thin out some of these bromeliads are encroaching on my growing area. I'm definitely gonna thin some of these out. Oh look, these bananas came with the property. I don't know what variety it is. I don't think it's a Cavendish. I don't know, but it always gets the end rot the cigar end rot or whatever you call it. The end of the fruit looks like a cigar. All burnt out and nasty. Looking for some fruit on this tree. It fruited before the fruit was good. I believe this was, yeah, this was the one that made a nice big fruit for me. That was the one.
loquats. Ivory loquats flowering. I got some grafted that are I've, I'm ready to sell pretty soon. I just I didn't label them, so I got there. I think there may be one Pellucci, and I gotta wait for the leaves to push out to really figure out who's who. But I'd hate to sell the wrong tree, and I didn't label them, and I can't tell what they are. But I know it's either Pellucci or Avri. And doesn't that suck? And I was like, oh, I'll be able to tell the leaf difference. They're so different. But when they're small, you can't tell shit. And I can't tell shit. I'll look at a couple more trees and I'll go inside. This is a Grimmel Anomaly Hybrid. The taller of the two. And this one's been less exciting to me because it's so big and it grows so fast. I was hoping the other one stayed smaller and fruited quicker, but maybe this one will be the better of the two. You never know. But I, I like the tree, don't get me wrong, but the other one was a lot more exciting. Grows way slower, stays way smaller. This one seems to take a lot after the grill. Maybe the fruit's really big on this one. So I'm excited to see what this tree does, but it's definitely unusual looking if if you were here in person it doesn't look quite like anything yeah it does look like a perfect cross between the two it does if you know what you're looking for it just has features of both it definitely does it's a very nice tree a little wind damage there the esaoq has been a really heavy producer Doing it again, ESAOQ. And then we have a Grimmel Hybrid, it hasn't fruited yet. This is a grafted tree I made as a backup. Another Grimmel Hybrid that is a grafted tree made as a backup. This is a really pretty tree. I like this one a lot. Um, this is the red Jabadikaba seedling that makes a white fruit that had some nice tart flavor, unlike. The other white Jabadikaba doesn't have any tartness at all. This is a nice a nice tree. Uh, I might graft from it in the future. I just got to see how it performs. But it's like a red Jabadikaba throwback. This is a PDM just to show you how much bigger the one in the pot is compared to the one in the ground. The one in the ground I showed you that almost died earlier that was three feet tall is six feet tall. Same age tree. The one in the ground is just doing like shit because it doesn't like the soil. So that's my theory could be wrong um this is an interesting coronata heshtinga seedling that i kept we're look at the, the leaf on it is just kind of fucking crazy you almost sold that but look at the leaf is this is like a it almost looks like a hybrid between heshtinga and fetrantha is my best guess look at that leaf it's just elongate and like fetrantha e compared to the others but who knows We'll give it some time. It doesn't look right. But the, the, the dead giveaway usually is the bark. And it's too young to tell on the bark right now. But I'll keep in that tree for sure. These are some Grimmel hybrids I kept. From Sabra from Kimber. A lot of stock out here. Oh, spider web in the face. Fetrantha bronca. It's a nice tree right here. Big ass leaves. There's a tree underneath it. That's rare here. Oh, okay, it didn't die. I thought this would die. It was on a death path, but I, I guess I saved it kind of. See some dead here, but we'll just leave it alone. It probably needs more sunlight. This is a bronca mel. Should fruit any day. Such a pretty tree. Chickens like to hang out underneath it. But I love the, the way. Look at the foliage is like a green wall brilliant leaves brilliant so rex come i already let you in all right you know what we're gonna do too i've been waiting to do this we go I've been giving these out with orders. If you get anything off the website, you'll probably get one of these. And I, I don't know when I'm going to... I'm going to probably get some more made again. These are high quality. They cost $1.40 each for me to make. I'm going to get some made again. But the next time I get them, maybe a little bigger. 
and I'm only going to get, I'm going to get less made. I only got a hundred of these made and I gave away some to the skater kids and shit. So there's only about 75 that I'll give away, but it's pretty cool. I'm going to put one on my door really quick. I want one on my door. I think I'll put it, I think we'll put it underneath this one. Yeah, underneath. So we'll do that real quick. Yeah, thanks, Fruitsy Farm. Let's see if I can get this on. So that's really it, guys. The one thing I hate about these stickers is they don't have, like, a back that's split. You got to find the edge. And half the times I'll fuck the sticker up trying to find the edge. It's like you need a razor to find the edge on this sticker. Sorry, guys. I, that's the one the one downfall. There's got to be a trick. You pro Yeah, a razor, huh? Is what you would use for this. I got one. You think that'll work? A razor? That'd be thinner than my fingernail, wouldn't it? Let's see if I can get this to go with a razor. Is that going to fuck it up even more? Yeah, that helps a lot. Sorry, guys. I'm over here. I should be over there. But I, I need the light. To be able to see this. Dang. They sure made them hard to peel, guys. If you're an older fella like me, that don't see too well no more. There we go. That damn razor was the trick. That razor was the ticket, buddy. Took me a second to get her. But look at her glisten. I'll just put it on my shirt. Damn, we'll start selling them. What do you think? Find me at the club. Or the bub. All right. See my kitty? I heard him meowing outside, I thought. Is it, maybe I'm wrong, though. I thought I heard it. You going out there? Oh. Ooh, look at the glisten when you do that. Eva! Oh, I got that action shot, Wayne. <laughs> that came out nice. How do I make it glow? That's about as good as it gets, so... Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to take a break now. Glad I could do a live stream. I hope the quality was okay. I tried to drop some information for you to use in your everyday life. And I got to put this papaya away in the fridge. And then I got to have a snack. I'm hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. I love them papayas. So, waiting on these persimmons I got to ripen up so I can make that drink I make. The persimmon lime freeze. I'm ready for one of those. Nice. Yeah, we're chilling. Thanks, uh, shit out of luck. Yo, shout out to James Blackwood, Raccoon Whisperer. I watch his channel to get down. But I, I like his channel. It's fun to watch. You just want something to sit and zone out. Zone out to James Blackwood, the Raccoon Whisperer. Look at these. Thank you, Lord. This would be breakfast. Mmm. I love you, too. I fuck with you. Mmm. Mmm. I might be able to eat 30 of these, but I, I know not to do it. Go in my room.
Maybe she's in my room. There she is right there on that couch, on my chair. Oh, I did thought I heard her outside, but it must have been a chicken. These are good napkins. I can't waste them. Caked out like Entenmann's and Briars, the flyers. That's that Nasir. What else you got to eat in here, Adam? Grapes, cream cheese, pork that's uncooked. Yo, did I already tell you I like these a lot? I just, I like these better than regular orange juice. I don't care about defense this and defense that. It's got tur orange, pineapple, and ginger and turmeric, but the flavor of it is so outstanding. It's like a seasoned orange juice. That This is the most, that's my favorite product right here. As far as orange juice goes, hands down, my favorite commercial right there, baby. They're expensive. But I'll buy like three at a time and drink three over the course of a week. And it just doesn't get any better. Damn, that's good. I really like that. Oh, look at these. Did I show you this? Now, this is the last thing we'll show you, okay? I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I'll try. Take this. Let me see. Yeah, I can't do it. Let me show you a little trick I do. I gotta wash out this, this, this drink thing. Sorry, it's taking me a second. The water here is nasty, so you gotta like, if you wash it with water, you gotta wash it with filtered water afterwards to get the damn smell out. I gotta wash it twice with filtered water to get the smell out. Make sure it doesn't smell like well water anymore. It smells good enough. Okay, you got your strawberries. Driscoll Organic. Now, take you some heavy whipping cream. Oh, don't shake it too much. That'd be good. Whipping cream. I need some honey. The ants found it finally, the fucker. I've been hiding this from the ants for so long and they finally found it. I don't think they've been getting in though. I hate when they get in my damn honey. Finally found it, didn't you? Yeah, oh gosh, they got to the edge. I need a napkin. You sons of bitches. You dirty sons of bitches. Who knows what was on your feet? You want to bring it inside my honey container? Mm-hmm. Goodness me. I hope you're clean. Give me STDs in my honey. Ugh, I'd imagine they're in the cap here. Let's see about that. Is that the right cap? Those little sugar ants, huh? Mm. Clean, caps clean, they were all on the rim. Not too much. Almost like I'm gonna have to put this thing in like a trash bag. I'm gonna set it there for now. Now this is what people, how do you make whipped cream? 
You just go like. Let's see how long this takes and how much effort it is. But you got to get the. Um... I'm trying to get the honey off of the bottom. Look at that, I'm whipping cream with one hand and I'm washing strawberries with the other. Multitasking. The thing you don't want to do is over whip this shit because I've, I've broken it so fast where you have your cream and it's perfect so quickly that you didn't even know it. And it's done and you break it and you can't have it. It's a useless mess. Isn't that interesting? You know what I mean? What do you, how do you, you can't bring that back once it's broken. I've seen it pop, man. It pop. I was like, holy shit. It's almost done. It's a good wrist exercise. My wrist got hurt skating. Getting close. Yeah, oh, that's about it. I felt it right there. Yep. Perfect. Then you take this and don't cut yourself. You gotta cut this off. Damn, this knife is dope. Oh, this bottle's high quality shit. Take a spoon to that, it's so good. It's pretty good. Could use more honey. I'm not eating the fucking leaves on me. I guess there wasn't enough cream. Skateboard. I, I love it. There's no business in it. 
It's just for fun. I'm in a fruit tree business. Mm -mm -mm. Finger licking good. Skateboard bruises, oh, I'm fine. I've been doing pretty well. I can't complain. And the, the hurricanes usually help keep me off the skateboard. Well, then that'll stop me from getting hurt. But I did skate the past couple of days. And I did all right. I'm all right. I feel pretty good. I think I thank God for that. Because I would be just... You know, it's a... It's a, it's a it's like, it can, it can make you healthy, but also kick your ass at the same time, you know? So, I skateboard, but you gotta just, I gotta be careful with the tricks I choose. Go for low impact. And just have fun, but some days you gotta push yourself. Mm. Mm, I'm that guy. Mm, mm. One of my favorite things is like cream, dude. I love dairy and cream. Cream filled shit. Always been a thing of mine, dude. Eclairs and fucking hoo hoos and whatever you call them. Ding dongs or I don't know what you. I'm trying to think of my favorite. It's like cream puffs and eclairs. And they used to have a. These right here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Oh, I'm dropping shit. Mm. But these, see these right here. Now look, these days they make these little hand pies, all right? And these are okay. I eat them sometimes out of desperation. This is from Intamins. It's, it's better than the ones that they sell. That There's another brand where the ingredients aren't quite as nice. This right here was the best ever from Hostess. This is a stick, a magnet for my fridge. But it was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle filled with vanilla pudding power. That was the best thing. That was the best thing I ever ate. I just wanted more and more. I only got to eat like 20 of them, but I needed like 30 of them, 40 of them. But I used to eat them and my dad would be like, Eating too many of them. I fucking love them. They took them away. And they never came back. And I eat these. These aren't as good. They don't make... They don't make a ham pie anymore with vanilla pudding. Conspiracy. Think about it. Hard to find. I like these, they're okay. But vanilla pudding in the middle? Yeah. Now I've had too much sugar. Better water that down. Alright guys, I really appreciate you watching. I wish I... What did he say? Mango pudding is good. Oh yeah. No, no, no. If it's not a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pie... They did used to have a hostess pie that was chocolate on the outside with vanilla pudding. That was in the 80s. 
I just barely remember eating some of those. And those were fucking amazing too. But the chocolate coating was like offsetting whatever the pudding was. And it was different. Those were good. But there was nothing like the green coated. And they've tried to do bring them back. Other little companies were selling them. I almost ordered them from this place. But you had to spend like 50 bucks and pre-order. And I never got around to it. But they were making their own version. Everyone's tried to remake it. But they need to just bring back those that is different. Like, just rename it. Call it, like, Iguana Power or some shit. But they need to have the exact recipe. Bring it back. However, there's been a for, uh, petition to do it. But time is now. Time is now. We're going to act now. Get these pies out there again, man. Kids wanting them, skate parks, baseball events, high school. Sorry, I was just excited about this. I think I've had a little too much sugar. Okay. All right, guys. See you later. Oh, eBay listings. I'm going to do eBay listings, I think, tonight. I've been behind on that. Hurricane slowed me down. Tropical storm. Shipping, I'll be shipping tomorrow. I'm behind on that. Website orders, I gotta ship them out. They're going out tomorrow. Biggest order first. We got a big order going out. All right, guys, thank you.